Welcome back to the Fever Adventures of It's Mr. Respected and Masaki, the Saber Tooth Titan. Well, as I remember, or as we, or as this game is like like to be called, Torchlight. Last time, we actually made some progress on a few missions. And now, we've unlocked another area past the... The dank... The dank area. The dank chamber. And now, we have unlocked the overseer's chamber. Now what we're going to do this time is, of course, go back to Hatch. And then it's pretend so. That's nice. Hi there. The book you brought me, the Tome of Revelation, remember? Anyway, mentions the soul-bound phylactery tucked away. Phylactery. Phylactery. Anyway, it mentions the soul-bound phylactery tucked away deep in the mountain. I'm sure it's overrun with monsters, but that just means that no one else can steal our treasure. I'll open a portal if you can get me that soul-bound phylactery. I'll even give you a reward. And if you can get me that soul-bound phylactery, I'll even give you a reward. You're going to give me a speedy goblin cleaver. Oh, wonderful. Thanks to you, I can afford it. That's nice. I right, got a quest from you. Now let me get a quest from you, Vazman. Hello there. Have you seen an empathy running through water? I read that again from Zelda Shiver Gipper. But I've never actually yet seen such a thing. You'll keep an eye out for it, won't you? I'll continue my research in your absence. Well, let's sell some things. Hail, hail, how you doing? I'm not a staff user, so, um, here you go, sir. <laughs> I'll keep that on my secondary. I don't use shields. This can go. Got something better. Here you go. Oh, that makes him look so much more badass. Thank you. I'll keep that around.
But let me swallow this. Yep. There. Give me more health. And as for this, I have something better, so thank you. Got something better, so. Uh-huh. So let's take a look at our quests. We have four. A quest for glory! I had to go to 10. I'll send downstairs. Uh -huh. So, let's head to the portal, shall we? And doing these and doing these quests for a hatch um, actually gives you, if you do 50 of these hatch side quests, you actually get a achievement for it. So I try to do at least a fair amount. Every video I every video I make. Just make things interesting, you know. Oh. Now I'm gonna resurrect the town. Shit, I ain't gonna lose nothing. It's like, oh you need to would you like to resurrect this? I'm like, no. Back to dungeon. Oh. Wrong dungeon. Oh uh, yeah, I got overwhelmed. As I said before, yeah. As I stated before, before I got my ass handed to me. So many things that happen and the only thing I have to do is make assumptions or or these little observations because I don't think many people actually do Not that many people do observations. Why? Because I don't know. Not that many people actually do make, you know, these.
Not many people actually do these kind of these. These observations that you just don't do every day, you know? Besides, I'm a writer. I had to make observations. It's part of my it's part of what I do. Like for one, I am working on a self-help book. And when I really start to work at it, work on it and work at it, I will have a lot to say. A big muckfish. Now what you could do is you can feed this to your pet, but it will change your pet into a random a random monster of sorts. Chain helmet of Magic weapons are for tease. Uh, but I need to raise my magic up to wear it. That is impossible. Mm hmm So as proof of concept, let's feed the pet this. Let's hit feed. Shapeshifter! Of course, when he changes, so does his, so does his way of attacking changes. Wow. as a mudfish, wow. Well, fuck Stampede! I, I have a pet who can do Stampede! Sad thing is, it's not permanent, and I wouldn't want this to be permanent, even though really I want it to be a permanent upgrade, but still. Mm -hmm. It's fun to wonder sometimes. Oh, 
when I was a kid, I originally wanted to be a judge. Only reason why is because of Third Grip Marshall. That was the only reason why, because of Third Grip Marshall. So let's see, spells. You, my pet, are going to learn this. You will like it. It's a defensive spell, but... Oh, hello. Hell's wrong with me. Here, you hold on to these. Wealthy sash, wealthy skill sash. Okay. Here, you take that too. Yeah, my own hit. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah, when I was a kid, I really didn't want to be a judge. And then I changed my mind. And I think how I be how I became a writer is because of my mom. Is a mess though well known. Thank you. <coughs> no, but seriously, um, my mom really influenced me to become a writer because. I am very imaginative when it comes to telling a story. I play a lot of video games after all, so I should have a bit of imagination when I'm actually playing something. So it would make sense why I've become a writer. Plus, when I was when I was like 19, I used to write a lot of poetry. To this day, I'm still thinking 
I should make a book of poetry. As a second, um, as a second book to release, you know. I thought about it. I'm considering doing that. Um, my first book is still in the running. Well, at least I got my foot in the door. I mean, to me, that's important that I get my foot in the door and, of course, try to promote my work as much as I can. Even my friends are telling me, you know, you should promote your book to whoever, whatever's interested. And really, I, I had to say, that's friendship right there. That's looking out for your interest right there. Because sometimes, you know... Sometimes I would not think about my work. Sometimes I am down on myself about my work. Because usually, when it comes to me, when I need to have a good session, it'll come to me. That's why I try to go out as much as I can these days. I'm not gonna lose no gold over this shit. As I said before, when it comes to me, and it usually does, I usually do um, go out and, and, and get some writing done. I usually have it when I ha I usually get a good amount of writing done when I'm during the day. At night, though, not so much. Because at night, well, you know, I'm doing this. I'm recording a lot of videos and I usually talk through my my plans. Not like that. I usually talk through my plans to myself. 
Not because I'm crazy. <coughs> I'm definitely not crazy. <laughs> I'm anything but crazy. I can put up with a lot of shit, and I can tell you. soon man Oh, let's see. And I could go with um Titan Sum. Ooh, a giant hell potion. I uh, will take it. Titan Stop! Shingeki no Kyokujin! And it's experience that will transform you. I get two points to use, so... Titan Stomp. And Expertise. Shigeki no Kyojin! Shigeki no Kyojin! Shigeki no Kyojin! Shinkeki no Kyujin! If you don't know what that means... 
people, you haven't watched enough anime or read enough manga to know what that really means. And for that, I pity you. Shigeki no Kyojin! No Kyojin! Time fall! Times go! Shingeki no Kyojin! <sighs> now I must pick up this item, but I need to make space. Tint of Silver Ring. It's good, but no. Twenty-eight. Okay, that's better. Take that. I said, take that. Slow attack speed. Nah, I don't want the slow attack speed here. There we go. You found the Soulbound Phylactery! You, you're a wonder partner! I just know where I can find a buyer too, so here's your share of the profit. Oh yeah, that's my that's so much better. No, but I want this. I don't want this. See, this gives me more, plus an, you know, an ice stack. Oh, that's awesome. That is so awesome. Now. I need to heal, and the next thing I need to do is... I 
and need to go through the waypoint. Travel to the Overseer's Chamber. And we need to go down here. Sunken garden shines through an age of dust and decay. Why did they fall to ruin? Could the same corruption that affects me now be responsible for this century's old destruction? I don't see why not. The thought that this blight could be so ancient unnerves me, but if it consumes me, I must go deep enough that I can never escape to do harm. And there is still hope. A fool's hope. As do most people on Earth. We are at the Asterian Antechamber. And just going down means, oh dear. So as you can see, I am a warrior of fire and ice. But, you know, I had to take care of him. Oh, and that too. I have reactivated these three room gates, but it is the fourth that leads deeper. Some threat must have caused the Asterians to disable it. The destination glyphs are missing. We'll need to find those missing glyphs to continue. Search the active gates while I study this chamber. Hurry. There are many obstacles between us and the Ember Forge below. And that is one of those. And that is one of those quests we need to go through because we can go deeper. Much, much deeper. Now the thing is, you can take them on in any way you want. There is no certain way you can do this. Sit your ass down. Goddamn spike. Get. Spires, I swear to God, man. Where are you going? I will cut you. <sighs> when I played this game on my three sixty. I actually went from right to left.
Okay, you sir, you remind me of Evil Dead. Get the hell away from me. Sign the management. Interested in kicking your ass. But yeah, how many how many L peers do you know that is a former teacher turned author and otherwise not many. So I feel yeah. I am proud of my accomplishments. I'd like the world to know who I am. I mean, you know, my family's proud of me, so. Why not, you know? I mean, that, that's the problem with today's world. There's no guidance, no sort of inspiration left in the world. I am Ismus the Light. Great, and subscribe. And note that I never had to buy one piece of potion. My inventory is full. No point. No point in doing that. Shadow Bowman, Charm Mastery, Pet ma yes, Pet Mastery. I need to pull out my stampede. Portal to Given Room. Uh, to Glyph Room. Sorry. Portal to, portal to Glyph Room. So we are going to the portal. Thank you. 
Rush! And, um, let's see. And let's see. Stampede. Stampede needs to go up a bit. And. Sheeting because why not? <sighs> Rush. The glyph of moonlight. Oh, come the. Stab needs to go, because I don't need it. Confusing silver ring. That needs to go. There. Now we need to head back. Because we need to get all three of these glyphs in order to activate that fourth glyph. And I'm just killing everything like a boss. I've only had two defeats so far, which is a good thing. Many things that I wonder about people, then I and then I start thinking. Some people are idiots. Some people are too fucking needy for their own good. Naturally. But hey, I'm doing it for experience, so more for me, yay. Let's see, let me pull up my auto map.
Thank you. I need my auto man. Good thing the people I know aren't assholes by trade. I will let my pet handle you. Don't mess with a man, he's a muckfish. The muckfish of doom. My pack is full. There goes one. And now we're going through two. And that is how I deal with giant spiders. Normally, whenever I play a game which has a character creator, or something close to it. I always go with Malleus. There's a reason why I go with a Malleus. Just to prove how badass I am. You just that's all. Okay, that was bullshit. A glooper jelly. So, <laughs> I changed my pet into <laughs> a pile of goop.
My pet slime, ladies and gentlemen, my pet slime. See? I don't have to do much of anything. He doesn't work for me. Hey, we don't like a tough shit. What'd you say about my mama? Oh. That hell drop. Mm. That gold drop. Mm. Constantly waking away. My pet slime. And now he's back to normal, see? Which he doesn't mind because he's doing for for the greater good. He's doing it for science. That is why he changes a lot. Unlike the real Masaki, whom I believe. And this was honestly the bleep. I honestly believe that cat might be... I honestly believe that Misaki might be the reincarnation of my dog, Billy. For you see, Billy was a black lab, Misaki is a black cat. Call it whatever you will. Here, Masaki. He's a pet! I'm a pet trainer! Now, he can summon archers. My saber-toothed tiger can summon archers. I tell you something, when your when your pet can actually do something like summon archers out of nowhere, you know your pet is badass. Do the cliff room. Let's see. Here, I can take that. Let's see, what is this?
Yeah, I'll go with that here. I can't wait for this thing, so um, here. Besides, I can always find something better. Oh, please go to town. Oh, a mushroom. Boom. Funny thing is, I was told when I was younger. Oh, you could. The way the way you're you're so big, you could probably play for football. Yeah. My pack is full. Your pet has returned. And I can tell you, no way in the world. Definitely. So, let's see. Nah. I need some space, so therefore he's going to hold on to this stuff for me. Face. You too. What a rush. You said are being hunted. Run over!
and the glyph of direction. So that makes two out of three. And I need to heal. No slot, no slot, no slot, no slot, no slot, no slot. No slot. This can go. So with that. <sighs> to this portal. And through this portal, the last of the three portals. <clears throat> By the way, if you're wondering about my other games, I'm still doing them. And I have gained so much more. But yeah, everything that I do. I do it because I enjoy what I do. I don't do it for fame. I do it because I enjoy what I do. I mean, you know, if you want to do it just because, I mean, if you like something and you enjoy doing it, well, nothing wrong with it. That's why I like doing what I'm doing now. I am now the memorable. And that's the thing that, you know, 
I like to stay as. I don't want to be anything more than I should. I don't want fame to change me, but, you know. If I do, God forbid, let it be for the better, not for the worse. I mean, that's the only way that I'll let fame change me. For the better, instead of the worse. Otherwise, you know, if it changed me for the worse, I am doing something totally wrong. I'm pretty sure when I, when I actually said, oh, I wanted partnership. There's a reason why I really wanted partnership. For protection. Because, you know, there were so many people getting partnership. And for mo for most of them, they were like, oh, for the wrong reasons. Because some, some people will, will get partnership, and they don't really contribute much, you know. And there are people that, you know, I'm sorry, I, I can't stand certain people that, you know, they sing their praises and, oh my gosh. Sometimes I feel that way, you know. I can't help it. My inventory is full. My inventory is full. My inventory is full. Really? I don't want that shit. But yeah, some people, you know, they deserve, they deserve more than other people. Like, take for instance, Big Fade Plus. He's one of those people that just deserves partnership. Even more than me. And the only reason why is because he earns, he, he deserves it. 
He deserves every single sub that he that he gets. He works hard for them. So it's only right, you know. People that are deserving of of such a, you know, an honor like, oh, you deserve to be recognized. You damn right deserves to be recognized. Hell, I'd be glad for somebody, to, I'd be glad for anybody I know to get properly recognized, because they deserve it. And to rightfully say that, you know, I can't say it enough, and even though, and even though I know the guy would say, you know, you deserve it too, I'm like, yeah. But not more than, but not more than he does. Really, that is saying a lot. <laughs> there's, you know, there's so many people who deserve more, and the right kind of people deserve more than the ones who don't. Do as less as less than others. It's like with me, yeah, you know, I I've done quite a bit, but you know. Some people are more deserving to me sometimes. And I mean it, you know. There are some people I know that deserve more credit than they realize. Let's try an enchantment. Into spike tie. Really? Slow attack speed. Don't need that. Like, I know there are a lot of people who just deserve more than they should, but... And then there are people who just need to be patient when they when they get this kind of attention, you know? It's like, okay, you reach, say, 100 subs, that's good. Just keep up the good work. 
You know, I feel, you know, don't be too ambitious. I mean, that's what I've learned while being on YouTube for quite some, for a little over seven years, a little over seven years or so. Let's see, no, no, eight years. Being on, being on this, being on this for eight years, it kind of teaches you It teaches you, you know, for what it's worth, you know, it's good that you're doing something and it leads you to better things. So me being on YouTube for eight years, you know, and five years worth of doing Let's Plays, whether good or bad, I take pride in my accomplishments. Yeah, I do. I really do take pride in my accomplishments because... <sighs> you have to. Because I know, I know many of my friends, they, they're on YouTube and and some are very modest, you know, like Ryu, he's, he's very modest. I mean, he likes what, he likes what he's doing and I totally agree, you know, if you like what you're doing, don't try to change the thing. If people just don't, you know, respect your line of work, then you need to look elsewhere. That's why I feel is important, you know. You do the best you can. As well as the best you can possibly do. Because those who can do. I mean, there's somebody else, um, MB, oh yeah. Him. is quote unquote the bard of our group. The tone deaf bard of our group is actually going back to college, which is good. He wants to be a writer, which is also a good thing because well, why not? We need more writers in the world. I do mean, we need more writers in the world, we need more artists in the world. So whether you draw or you write music, you make or make music, or, or whatever, right? Artists are still needed in this world. Because even as I'm doing this, you know, video games is considered an art form, so. If we're all playing video games, we are considered artists. And all these tracks can go kiss my ass. So yes, I ha I have to say that I have to say it because it's true. It's not because I have to say it, but we're all considered artists. If we're gamers, we're quote unquote artists. Because we not we might not be the most perfect if 
making what we do, but we sure like enjoying what we do. you take whatever you do in the right direction I think that's what matters I feel and believe that's what really matters in this world like none other. so many times in this area. Uh. Mino wants... I can take this. Thank you. Let's see, what do I want to put in here? Let's see. Dual welding can go up. So, what do you gotta say? You recovered the glyphs so quickly. Your power is growing, my friend. I will open the last room gate, but please be cautious. 
The blighted ember creates abominations. There's no telling what monstrosities lay on the other side. I can't bear to stay in these corrupted tunnels much longer. Find me in torchlight when you're finished. Oh, yeah. So let's just finish this. Let's just finish this and call it a part. I mean, so many of us have hit the have hit a milestone on YouTube. And the only ones I care about are the ones I actually know. Like I know for certain I can never be as good as Smooth McGrove or Markiplier or any of them. Hell, not even. Not even Frank Amatic. I'm sorry. I can't be as good as them. I can only be myself. I can only provide what kind of my own brand of humor that God has given me. And all I can say is, you know, if you don't like it. Don't even, don't even try and say, oh, you know, you should quit helping, and I say, yeah, you know what, and you should quit trying to put me down. So trust me, I, you know. Tree hugger! I'm taking care of another boss. I'm glad I made a name for myself though. Not just here, but you know. <clears throat> just, you know, what I've made for myself, I'm glad. If this shaking continues, it will destroy the town and collapse the tunnels. Something massive must be stirring below. I can't imagine what could do this. Go. Find the source of these quakes and put an end to them. Something is trying to slow us down. It fears us. I take hard in that. You do that. Rumbles in the deep. But I think we should do that for the next time. But for everything I've done, I am thankful that 
I have done what I've done. And I take no shame in what I do. I'm proud of my accomplishments. And even in my failures, I've won. So with that, I'm just going to leave leave this session right here and next time on Torchlight we shall go much deeper into the fray of battle and more than likely get some more um, cash and then some. So I've been the Tenkaichi of Gaming and Otoku Pukiezi7, aka Ichigo Musko, and I shall see you next time for more Torchlight Goodness. Thanks for watching and listening.